report, Rand Paul attacker finally exposed, this is serious. Senator Rand Paul, Arkey, was attacked at his home in Bowling Green, Kentucky, Friday. It appears that the injuries are more severe than initially revealed. Jim Bullington, who knows both Senator Paul and Boucher, offered up some insight into the attacker to reporters. Bullington claimed that Boucher leans radically left in his politics by nature. According to the Washington Post, he described Boucher by saying, he's pretty much the opposite of Rand Paul in every way. These claims, combined with Boucher's controversial social media posts could paint a picture of why this happened. The Washington Post described Boucher's Facebook page as having plenty of information that was critical of President Donald Trump. Furthermore, there was information on his page about a Montana Republican congressional candidate who blatantly attacked the reporter before winning the seat. Senator Paul made his first comment on the incident Sunday. He tweeted that, Kelly and I appreciate the overwhelming support after Friday's unfortunate event. Thank you for your thoughts and prayers. Doug Stafford, Senator Paul's chief of staff, revealed that the senator ended up with five rib fractures. Three of these fractures are what are called displaced fractures, in other words, they are completely or mostly cracked. Stafford elaborated on the situation, this type of injury is caused by high-velocity severe force. It is not clear exactly how soon he will return to work, as the pain is considerable as is the difficulty in getting around, including flying. As of right now, the mystery of why Senator Paul and Dr. Boucher were arguing remains unsolved. They are both Kentucky-based medical specialists. A doctor named David Shiashetti worked with Boucher, and described him as a general pain medicine physician. During the Sunday interview, Shiashetti answered questions asking why he thinks Boucher would have attacked Senator Paul the way that he did. The rest of Bowling Green would like to know that, too. I was quite surprised to see this in the news, Shiashetti exclaimed. Shiashetti was, however, able to shed some light on why Boucher quit working as an anesthesiologist. He explained that Boucher, told people that he sustained a neck injury and could not continue his anesthesiology duties. Despite this news, it is still a mystery as to why exactly he attacked Senator Paul. There is no direct evidence that the attack was politically motivated. However, some say the evidence is mounting in that direction, indicating that there may have been political undertones. For example, Jeff Jones, a registered nurse who worked with Boucher described him as being liberal in nature. He was active on social media and said some negative things about the Republican agenda, Jones added. Senator Paul and Boucher lived in a small gated community in River Green. On the day of the attack, there were multiple people outside enjoying the weather and doing yard work. The hope of many is that the cause of this violent confrontation will soon be revealed. To date, authorities have not reveled a possible motive. Thank you for watching this video. What do you think about this? Share this on Facebook and Twitter along with your comments. Comments.